Yo, what's going on, buddy? Tom Crazy here, and welcome back. And today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to import maps from Valorant over to Unreal Engine instead of using Blender. This is going to be a lot faster to render, but you are going to need a better computer for this. So yeah, let's get started. First thing you're going to need to do is go over to Epic Games Store. If you don't have it already, I'll leave a link in the description below. But the first thing you want to do, you want to go over to Unreal Engine and make sure 5.0.3 is installed. And if you don't know... If it just says 5.11, like how it says right here, all you want to do is just click right here. And then you want to click right in between these two. Since I already have it installed, it's going to be not there anymore. You want to click 5.0.3. And let that install. It is going to take a while. It could take anywhere between like 10 to 40 minutes, depending on how fast your hard drive slash SSD is. And now once you have that done, what I want you to do is head over to this GitHub right here. On this GitHub right here, you're going to have the Yuiana Map Importer. It is literally the... Valorant map importer for Unreal Engine. So first thing you want to, so here, what you want to do, make sure you have Visual Studio 2019 installed and download .NET 6.0. And to do that, all you want to do is just download it, run it, let it install. It's gonna take a bit. So while you're waiting for that, you want to go over to releases right here. You want to click the latest one and click download. So now what you want to do is load up Unreal Engine 5.0.3. I just reinstalled it before starting this tutorial. So it's gonna have prerequisites. You're gonna want this to go through what it needs to. It's gonna load up. It's gonna take forever to load your first time because it has to initialize shaders and compile shaders. So yeah, after that's done, it might take anywhere between, again, 10 to 30 minutes. And I'll see you guys back when that's done. All right, so after the prerequisites are done, it's gonna pop you over to here. And then after this initializing stage, once it hits about 44%, it's going to say that it needs to compile shaders and there should be about four to six thousand shaders that you need to compile. It's just stuff that's already built into Unreal Engine like player models, camera models, stuff like that. So the first thing you want to do is go over to games and you want to make sure C++ is checked. Okay. Then you want it to be on desktop maximum. You can have ray tracing on or off right now. I'm not going to have a ray tracing on because I am going to be upgrading my CPU here very soon. So pretty much what you want to do, create a new folder. Name it like Valorant stuff or whatever. doesn't matter. This is just where your project files are going to go. And project files can be very big. So make sure you put it on like something that has a lot of storage. Then just title it whatever the heck you want. So I'm just going to title it, title it tutorial. And then I'm going to create it. All right. So if you get a message like this. You want to just copy this right here, go up to your desktop, paste it, or your browser, paste it, or paste it. So now you're going to need .NET runtime. So for some reason that didn't work for me. Close it. Now I'm going to create it again. Then it should work. But the reason why I say make it underneath games is because there's a lot more to do in there than just film slash video and live events. There's so much more you can do inside the games one. Plus that is also what the plugin maker likes to use as well so we're just going to completely follow what they're doing yes yeah, so i just created my project file it's going to take a while for it to actually load up you might notice that your pc is sl like chugging right now just depending on like how much of a how good of a pc you have right now i have a ryzen 7 3700x rtx 2060 all right so since you did have to use c visual studio is going to open up just make sure that you minimize it right after well it's gonna do this real quick just make sure it loads up properly then all you have to do right now is just minimize it and then this opens up this is our tutorial one so what you want to do file you want to just make sure everything is saved so just click save all then i want you to close unreal engine then wherever you decided to wherever you guys decide to put your project file you want to go in there you want to right click create a new folder you want to type plugins with a capital P. Open that up. Now what you, what you want to do is open up Yuiana. And you want to drag both of these into there. Now you can close all these. You want to go over to library. And then you want to go back over to Unreal Engine 5.0.3. You want to open up your tutorial project file. Click yes to rebuild them. Alright, so after we're back from rebuilding. This is going to be your Yuiana like, folder. So what I want you to do. Go to file. New level. New empty level now you want to go over to here the xbox folder so this is what you need to do it's kind of like the same thing that we did last time so you want to go over to val stuff or like val 3d stuff doesn't really matter 
So just go over to Val stuff, go over here, create a new folder, title this exports. Open that up, copy this, click in here, paste it. Now you need to locate where your Riot Games folder is. So mine would be over underneath my D drive games. Then you want to go over to Riot Games. You want to go over to Valorant. You want to go over to Live. You want to go over to Shooter Game, Content, Packs. So this is the folder that we want. So we'll copy that. Double click in here or Control A in there, Control V. Now this is where you do your map at. So what I am going to do, I'm going to bring in Lotus since that's a new map. Now I'm going to click generate map. It's going to take a while to generate like it does on Blender. So just let that do its thing and I'll see you guys back when it's done. All right. So once that's done, your screen is going to get flooded with all these right here. It's just importing every single texture that it needs. All the mo normal maps, normal textures. It's gonna in, like it's gonna import the normal textures, albedo textures, or just you know your color textures. It's gonna import the ambient occlusion. It's also gonna import the roughness. And sometimes, if it needs emission, it's gonna import an emission texture as well. And once that's done, it might seem like it just froze. But you just got to allow it to do what it needs to do. Now it needs to import every single mesh. And since, uh, since this is a very new map to Valorant, it is going to have to import every little thing, every single piece of grass, leaf, everything, every little piece of foliage level. And you can also set like what, you know, levels you want, what maps, everything. You can also have it to where it has like no skybox, has a skybox, no lighting, has lighting. If you're going to be using like a plugin like like any blueprints for like weather and stuff, you can, uh, you know, just uncheck the lighting and use your own lighting. As you can see right here, it does look like it's freezing, but it is not. It's just trying to import every little thing. So you just got to wait for this to be done. And I'll see you guys back when everything's imported. All right, and we're back. That didn't take long at all. So if you guys want to move around, you guys want to hold right click. Moving your mouse around is kind of like, you know, moving around a game. WASD to move. May it seem like it's pretty laggy. is because it is. Now it's got to prepare all the shaders. That's the reason why it's going to take a while. And then I'll be showing you guys how to do everything you need to do. So once all these are done, I will be right back with you. By the way, this step right here is very, very CPU intensive. So after this, we have to rebuild lighting and we got to rebuild reflection captures, which is just going to be underneath your build. The best thing to do anyways, is to just build light quality. So you got your production, your high, your medium, and your preview. It is always good at the very beginning to just do it at preview. And then once you are ready to render, make sure you save, put it to high or production, build it, go walk and do something. And you also want to build your reflection captures. You want to do your lighting and then your reflection captures. But yes, like I said, 100% CPU usage. It's not going to look like there's anything that's using that much CPU until you go over to here where it's Unreal Engine using like 50 to 60% of your CPU. So I'll see you guys back when this is done because it's going to take a while. Right now it is 12.37 and I'll show you guys what it looks like, what time it is after this is done. All right, so once you guys are back, what I want you to do is go over to build and then build reflection captures. Like you can build all levels, which will be fine. It will just take a bit, but I'd say first thing, since there is 6,758 levels or lights they need to build the lights. It's going to take a while because it's got to set up the swarm, which is this thing right here, swarm agent. That is going to take a bit because it's got to export all the lighting data. That's got to prep all the shaders. I see you guys back when that's done. All right. So when your lighting finishes, it, sh it might look something like this. Just don't worry about it. Just click X. 
then that's going to light your map. So now what we need to do after it's done preparing shaders uh, is go over to reflection capture and build that. But yeah, once you have like all your lighting and build, it's going to show you like some secrets underneath the map. But yeah, that's how you do that. And then you can also go over here if you kind of want like an untextured view, like you can like just put on unlit. That will be like your like have everything showing. All right. So once you're done the saving, what you need to do, you need to go over to edit project settings. All right. So now once you're in project settings, you want to go over to platforms. And then you want to go over to windows. Keep that on DirectX 12. Now you need to scroll up over to engine. Now over to rendering. You need to enable ray tracing. So once you keep on scrolling down, you should see ray tracing, hardware ray tracing. Put that on. Enable the skin cache, shadows, skylight. Now for reflections method, put it on ray traced. Illumination method, ray trace. And you are going to have to restart. I'm just trying to get all these going for you so that you can see it. It's easier for you guys to just mess around with the settings yourself and restart. I'll see you guys back when it's restarted. Like I said at the beginning of the video, it's going to take a while to load up everything because of ray tracing. It has to redo every texture again and recache it. Anyways, guys, that's going to be it for me. If you guys do have any questions, make sure to leave them in the comments. And if there's something wrong with the plugin that you guys have run into, make sure you guys go over to the GitHub and go underneath issues and submit a ticket there so that the creator of the tool can look into it, get it fixed for everybody else. And um, if you guys have any more questions about Unreal Engine, just look up some tutorials. I'm not that very in depth into Unreal Engine 5. I mainly use Unreal Engine 4 for like CSGO and stuff. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Good luck, have fun creating.